Today is May 16th and it's time to get the uh, sweet potatoes planted. This year I'm going to be growing them in these uh, mineral lick tubs. This is a 25 gallon mineral lick tub and I've drilled holes all around the bottom. I don't know if they'll show on here very well, but uh, every six inches there's a hole that's five eighths inch diameter. Uh, allow the water to drain. It's an inch high so the bottom will stay uh, damp and allow plants to uh, fill up. And I filled the tubs with uh, homemade potting mix, which is uh, compost and perlite and uh, peat moss and some worm castings. And as I said, this is a 25-gallon mineral lick tub. I get these tubs free from uh, local uh, beef cattle farmers. They uh, get them for their uh, cattle with the mineral, and when they're done with them, they want to throw them out. So I collected some of them. The other tub that I have down here is a 20 gallon tub. It's not quite as big, but it's still big enough for what I want to do. It's filled with the same topsoil, and you can also see that I've uh, drilled the holes around the bottom. The reason I have uh, 5 8 inch holes is because uh, if it's 3 quarter inch or bigger, uh, a uh, gopher or uh, mole uh, voles can get through there, and I don't want them digging into the soil and, and tearing up the potatoes. So I have uh, four. Uh, potato slips here to put in and I have four on the other tub. I had to pot these up a couple weeks ago They got too big to keep in water and you can see that they're uh, uh, Ready to go the uh, roots are coming right through these uh, four inch cow pots that I planted them in so uh, I'll get this set up here and uh, We'll get started uh, planting these Okay, so we'll get these planted these uh, cow pots are made out of composted cow manure, so the entire pot can be planted in the ground and uh, it decomposes and as it does, it feeds the plant. So it doesn't hurt to plant the entire thing. But what is important when planting them is to ensure that the entire rim of the pot is buried under the soil. Otherwise, it'll wick the uh, moisture up out of the ground and the plants will dry out uh, from not being uh, totally covered. If I sound a little choked up today, it's because of the tree pollen in the air has got my sinuses totally uh, plugged up. And uh, it's uh, that time of year when we have a lot of pine tree pollen and it stuffs up the nose something fierce. But uh, we'll soon be through the period and ready to go again. The thing I like about this homemade potting soil being made out of compost and peat moss is that it's very loose and easy to work. It doesn't uh, get compacted and uh, made into uh, uh, blocks of soil that you can't uh, use. You don't even have to really use a trowel to plant. You can just use your hands. The uh, reason I'm growing them in these tubs this year for the first time is that I'm hoping this fall, when it comes harvest time, I can simply turn this tub over sideways onto a tarp and dump out the potatoes and pick them out of the soil and not have to dig them like I do in the in-ground uh, planting. It's important when putting the pots in that you pack the dirt or the soil around the pot completely so that there's no air around the roots because uh, they'll quit growing when they hit air and you want them to grow into the soil not into, into air. So it's always good to pack it down as much as you can around the pots. There we go, we have the first one planted. Get them watered in good and they'll be ready to go.
after these get growing I'll top the pots off with a little more uh, soil I have to mix up some more but uh, raise them up to about an inch from the top and then I'll be um, adding mulch on top of that but I need just a little more soil in these pots I didn't quite have enough to fill them okay that's the first four plants and I'll move down to the other uh, pot and pot those and then I'll take a picture of them after they're finished. Okay, all the uh, sweet potato plants are planted and watered in real well. We're supposed to get a rainstorm tonight so that'll even uh, make it better. So I've got four of them here and they'll really take off now that they're in the soil. And then I have four down at the other end in the uh, 20 gallon pot. A couple of these are a little smaller, but they'll catch on, catch up real quick. Again, these mineral lick tubs are really worth their weight. Uh, and it, usually the farmers are willing to give them away or maybe charge a couple dollars for them. But even at that price, they're uh, excellent quality. They're uh, uh, food grade uh, polyethylene and they got UV coating on them because they're designed to be out in the pasture with the cattle. So they last a long time. and. Uh, they're excellent for growing in uh, for a container type gardens and these uh, sweet potatoes should do real well in them because they like the heat and uh, these tubs will get a little warmer than in ground. So that concludes this uh, video. Thanks for watching.